The Nokia 7 Plus is a killer phone at a killer price. Or is it? While we can't know for sure yet, it sure looks like Nokia's new mid-ranger is a phone worth looking forward to. We had a chance to spend a few personal moments with it at Mobile World Congress 2018, and frankly, we didn't leave the demo room disappointed. In that video, you are going to have a closer look to the Nokia 7 Plus. We're not going to go in deep details here, but we do have to say that the Nokia 7 Plus feels solid and well built, no surprises here, knowing that we're holding a metal made handset. It isn't the prettiest phone we've ever had the chance to examine, but it has its character. The contrasting color accents add a sense of sophistication to an otherwise mid-range handset. Most of the phone's front side is occupied by a 6-inch, high-resolution display with bright, pretty colors. With the Nokia 7 Plus, the company joins the increasingly popular trend of 18 to 9 aspect ratio screens, maximizing the phone's display-to-body ratio. Since there's no room for a fingerprint scanner on the front of the device, that has been moved to the back, right below the protruding dual camera. The display on the Nokia 7 Plus is a 6-inch FHD Plus, 2160 by 1080 pixels, 18 to 9 IPS LCD. At first some may frown that it's not a PO LED like the Nokia 8 Sirocco, or the Google Pixel 2 XL, but this is one of Nokia's best displays. It promises 500 nits of brightness and is laminated and polarized for better clarity and contrast. Specs aside, the display on the Nokia 7 Plus is lovely. Colors pop and whites look genuinely white. There's also no color shifting when you tilt the screen at an angle. At around 403 pixels per inch the screen is also tack sharp. On the software side, the Nokia 7 Plus runs a clean and up-to-date version of Android. This is Android 1 we're dealing with, to be more specific, a clean version of Android with nothing dragging it down. HMD Global seems to want offering a pure Android experience to its customers. Really good news. Given the lack of any bloat on this phone, we're not surprised to see that the Nokia 7 Plus is fast and responsive, aided by a Snapdragon 660 chip on the inside although browsing our website on Google Chrome did exhibit some slight lag. We do hope that was just the pre-production nature of our demo unit manifesting itself. The dual camera at the back is a key selling factor for the Nokia 7 Plus. It combines a regular camera with a 2x zoom telephoto shooter, both with Zeiss optics used in their construction. Pro mode is available for those more experienced photographers, as well as Nokia's Bothy mode letting you shoot photos and video with both the front and the rear cameras simultaneously. We've been waiting for Nokia's first 18 to 9 smartphone for the entirety of 2017 but it seems Nokia decided to take its time and make it right. And that it did. The Nokia 7 Plus is so much more than the pioneer of a tall aspect ratio screen for HMD's Nokia. The phone is milled from a single piece of Series 6000 aluminum and has then received six layers of paint for a matte finish that not only makes the phone less slippery, it hides the antenna lines. To summarize, with the Nokia 7 Plus, you will have a 12 megapixels wide angle Zeiss camera with a 13 megapixels telephoto Zeiss camera. On the front, the device has a 16 megapixels camera with Zeiss optics. Great. The Nokia 7 Plus has a 6 inches 18 to 9 IPS LCD Full HD Plus display with a Corning Gorilla Glass 3. Nice. It is powered by a Qualcomm Snapdragon 660 with 4 GB of vast LPDDR4 RAM. The device will have 64 GB of mass storage expandable to 256 GB via micro SD. The best thing is also the Android Pure experience with Android One program. The Nokia 7 Plus will run on Android Oreo out of the box. All in all, the Nokia 7 Plus is shaping up like a great offering in the €400 Euros price category, one with no bells and whistles, one that has all essentials covered. Nokia is marketing the handset as one that you can rely on, and it looks like it could deliver on this promise. Do you think the Nokia 7 Plus is the new killer phone with its killer price? Let us know your thoughts and comments. 
To discover more Android and Nokia related content, don't hesitate to subscribe to the S Sorrels channel.